Dimash Kandibergin, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll get it down right. I'll get it down right. First of all, thank you, uh, all of the dears, uh, as I've learned you to be. Uh, great, great fan base for Dimash, dedicated. <coughs> I've seen <coughs> different... Uh, different people with different fan bases. Uh, this is a very, very strong and dedicated fan base, and it's nice to meet all of you. Thank you for uh, responding uh, to my post. I've had so many like coming in that it's hard to like answer all of them and talk, so uh, please bear with me as I go through those. Also, um, I, I've been out of town for a few days, so I haven't uploaded anything else. I just got home. I'm here today and tomorrow, and Sunday I leave for Amsterdam, and uh, then I come back uh, midweek next week. So. I'm going to fly to Amsterdam for 14 hours on the ground and then fly home. Makes a lot of sense, right? So uh, anyway, uh, I'll get this one out, maybe one tomorrow. And then when I get back, uh, look at some more because there's a huge, huge portfolio of Dimash out there. And I am sure that there's going to be a lot of stuff. I've been impressed thus far. I'm sure there's going to be much more as I go along because this guy doesn't seem to have any barriers to him. He is absolutely the total, pe he's a total product. He is the, he, he has it all. And it seems as though he has everything as far as personality uh, from the comments, people talking about how he cares about global issues, uh, his, his peaceful approach. These are things that people need to hear about. But the, the lyrics are what really get me on these. It's, the lyrics have been beautiful. So let's go ahead and hop in here. I chose this because it said it had lyrics and it's saying that it's not an exact translation, but one that uh, English speaking people will understand. So we'll go with that. And it's Gamash Simple Passion. Ты явилась нежданно. It's a breath of voice again. Как из луна во сна. The eyes. О, если б знала ты, что мне нужна, только ты одна. That's the stage ownership. He owns that stage. He owns the crowd. Ты вернешь мир 
noticed this, by the way, how does he hit those notes? But I've noticed this, that when he's hitting those higher notes, I saw this in SOS as well, the camera tends to cue in on his hands. And it's like right then he had this kind of back thing going on SOS. I remember on one where it was on the high pitch ones. He, it's almost as though he's in his mind hitting those chords, hitting those those notes through his it's almost like he's turning the dial up, right? So he has a thing with his hands that occurs that is in line with the note that he's singing. And I've noticed this. Tell me if I'm wrong, all right? But I've just noticed this. I, I just saw it again, and that's what clicked it. It's like, what is it with the camera going through his hands? And it's always on the hand piece on the note. And when he's dropping the hand down or when he's coming up, it's really incredible actually uh, seeing that and being that way. Dimash, um, sinful passion. Just look at him. <laughs> I am just so impressed. All of that comes out of him. Now, someone said he was six foot three in one of the comments because I had mentioned that I thought he was tall. Uh, compared to other people on the stage in Stranger. Six foot three, which I'm the same height. And I don't know what he weighs. When I was his age, in my 20s, I was probably somewhere around 180 pounds or something like that. But, I mean, he just has a presence. The It's the presence. It's He brings the total package to the stage. And this is what I'm liking about him. Yes, I have a man crush on Dimash, and I'm not the only one out there, I'm sure. I am just so overwhelmingly thankful that there is someone like him in the music industry, because we are certainly, certainly short on talent in this world, and it's good to find somebody. And let me tell you something else. On songs like um, uh, Adagio, I am a person that likes... Broken English or not perfect English when it's spoken or sung. I like someone from a different language or dialect when they speak English. I used to live on the uh, uh, border of Quebec in Canada, which is all French. Well, it's not all French, but it's a French-dominant uh, province in Canada. And when I'd hear the Quebecers speaking English, there was, all, there was always a certain, certain word you would know a certain thing. It's also the same with people from other countries. And when, they, when they're speaking First of all, most Americans know one language, English, or as they call it, American, which is dumb, all right? It's not American, it's English. Why am I beating up the people in my country? Anyway, uh, most people are not bilingual in the United States, but across the globe, many, 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 many people in countries are bilingual because they have to be, because there's multiple languages and closer countries together like Europe. And, and I just find it extremely 
wonderful to be able to hear people sing songs in languages such as he apparently does because I've heard about multiple languages that he can go out and sing in French, English, Kazakh, uh, Kazakhstanian, Kazakh, Kazakhstan, uh, all of those and more and be able to perform that way. That's talent. That is talent. And I like the broken English pieces of that. I don't have to have words exactly sung to the dialect. I just want to hear someone singing from the heart and with meaning. And that is what Dimash does.